की पनीर पराठा पनीर का पराठा उसमें मैं की तीन चार कोल तंदूर इसे चपाती आटा सो सॉल्ट एंड वाटर एंड फ्लावर जस्ट थ्री थिंग्स नथिंग एल्स इन दैट अ लिटिल बिट ऑयल सो दिस इज अ पनीर सॉलिड पनीर या वी मेक पनीर हियर सम कोरिएंडर Then we gonna have to put some salt and uh, some chili powder, and then we gonna have to put the some green chili and red onion. Okay. And then we making same uh, with the potato. So this is a boiled potato. What we have? Okay. Then we have this. Then some coriander. Put it up, and we will cook it. Yeah, let me get some grease. Yeah, so we are going to divide it in half, and some salt and some salt and some cumin powder, uh, roasted cumin powder. In a bowl. That's all. What we have, we mix it. This is ready. Let's wash my hand. Power, And then we store this one. So we want to make good prata, and we should store similar amount of dough or more than dough. The stuffed should be uh, similar amount of the dough, oh, or so or need to be more than dough. The more than atta. Okay. This need to be more. So the, the filling or the stuffing. Yeah, stuffing has to need be to be equal yeah. or quantity or more. Or more. Or more. Yeah. So uh, pakora being made uh, for the order vegetable pakora. And also making paneer. So paneer also here. We do it with the hand, but let's do it with the roll. This is a paneer. This is a potato. So we have tandoor ready. Uh, a little bit apply water. This is a paneer paratha. So this is a charcoal tandoor what we have here. You get char flavor. So now pakora is ready. So we put for in a pakora. We put the paneer. We put the onion, potatoes, cauliflower, and then we put some coriander leaf and the and then chaat masala. Okay. 
And this is a batter we make from chickpea flour, the ground flour only. Some ginger garlic paste, the chili powder. Yeah. We start with the green chutney. So green chutney is a coriander chutney that we have. This is a solid coriander chutney without the yogurt. So, Coriander, mint, ginger, chili, salt, and lemon. That's, that's all what we have. Okay. So we try it with a very, very simple food. Right. Service. Yeah. So nice and charred color. Fluffy and okay. Then you have meat prata. Okay. And then good. So we can send uh, send with the right hand, please. How did you learn to cook? Where did you learn to cook? Basically, I started in Gujarat the first time so yeah uh, when uh, I was like 14 15 years old when I finished my high school and then I don't have to do I don't know what to do in that age so I was not not sure what I wanted to do so from my village most people work in a Gujarat called Ahmedabad the city name is Ahmedabad so mostly people work in a hotel so easy to find a job in a hotel and everything did you leave home as a yeah. hotel yeah. so uh, from my home to Ahmedabad is like a by train is almost like three days to go, uh, three days to travel from there to here. So okay. after high school, I went to um, India. By yourself? So what? Yes, with a um, uh, village, villagers, like a village college. Okay. So they used to work in a hotel in Ahmedabad. So I asked them, can I go with you and work with you? So they said, okay. So I went there and I started the early age, like a few months in a kitchen porter and then I find my interest to be a chef and then I request my chef, executive chef, chef was, uh, if I remember correctly, name the chef was no, Mr. Saroj Das, you know, and he was a very, very humble chef and I requested him, can I work as a chef? And he was very, very uh, kind man to give work as a chef. So I worked at the start of tandoori cooking and kachako, putting the chako, making nando and everything. So yeah, from that time I find uh, and I get inspired from the chef Saroj Das. I wanted to be like him. That time I was like a commie and he was an executive, executive chef and uh, that time was working under him like a 30 to 40 people in, um, in a Gujarat. So I, I thought it must be like, you know, amazing and the salary wise I was getting like ideas how he must be earning money, be a big chef. So yeah, that's just how I, my passion came about the cooking and and while I'm traveling and now in the UK, 11 years now and I work in um, so many places in a nice restaurant with a big celebrity chef to learn maybe one day I will be a big celebrity as well so hopefully You, you are a celebrity chef well, Thank you Because I've seen you on YouTube, I've said before, I've seen you, I've watched your videos working in the Lalit Yes, I was executive chef, uh, my last job was a executive chef at Lalit and the restaurant called Baluchi so yeah, we had a few videos and uh, that was uh, nice. Before Lalita, I was in Cinnamon Club, very well-known restaurant, and was working with the Vivek Chef, under Vivek Chef. So yeah, I learned so many things and under him, uh, like passionate about reading book. Vivek Chef have almost six books. So I get inspiration for the book and learning book and reading book, writing book. So hopefully my book one day will be released as well. And before I was with uh, Chef Atul Kochev, in Benares, almost three years I worked in them. I worked in 2012, I think. Yeah, so was Miss Lindy Star at that time as well. And uh, I learned so many things in there as well. Uh, finished uh, plating, plate, ingredients, seasonal produce, and all those things that I learned in Benares as well. So I'm uh, still learning. What's your specialty? Uh, tandoor. Tandoor cooking is my specialty. What's your arm look like? 
So all this burn is like a tandoor, what I have here, the black as you see. These are all burn marks? Yeah, burn marks from the tandoor. So whatever, we have more. We have so many more. This, this is all when I was learning. So they're like um, battle scars? Yes, yes, yes. yes. So the tandoor section yeah. is a labor of love? Uh, yes, labor of love. And that's a love symbol. Sometimes it sounds very easy when you look at the menu order a uh, tandoori naan yes and when you receive it it's a little bit burnt yeah. but people don't realize the effort and the heat that the tandoori chef works on that yeah Thank you, chef. The paneer paneer, huh? Thank you, chef. I have to say, absolutely delicious. Very tasty. The paneer is like a burji. Yeah. Smoky barbecue flavor. Have a little taste of your chutney there. I have to say, your chutney is excellent. Superb. Thank you. No yogurt, no dairy. Coriander, ginger, chili, lemon juice, salt. Little bit of meat and oil and then blend it. That's it. You can see that we are not losing the color as well. All the like a vibrant color. So your green chutney. Yeah. Very fresh tasting. The ingredients perfectly balanced. Full of flavor because you've used fresh ingredients. And we make every day. So first hour right. in the morning we do this one. We serve the for the service. And then next day, next one. So if leftover, we don't throw. We use in a marination. Thank you for this to showing the, our guest and everyone. And listen, uh, yeah. listen. You never have to thank me. I have to thank you. Um, God bless you. Thank you. Good luck thank with what you do in your life. Thank you. Have good luck and uh, until next time. Next time, I'll see you. Thank God you. bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye.